today we're going to take a look at the trade analytics in Edge Bonk 3, why this tool is so powerful and what it tells you about your trading performance. So in the trade analytics you can see this is basically working like a very advanced pivot table and in the default view you'll see your overall trading performance broken down into different metrics, so how many trades you have taken, the average quantity per trade, the win rate, expectancy per trade, the sum of the gain over all trades, you have your profit factor, the R multiple, average R multiple, you have the sum of the R multiples, you have your average reward to risk ratio, the maximum consecutive winning and losing trades, drawdown and updraw in percentage, MAE, MFE and the total amount of fees. And if you're wondering what this means and what those columns stand for and what those metrics are, in the video description I'm linking the FAQ from Edgewong3. And once you go to the FAQ you can then go to the metrics and to the stats and here you can see the different metrics and we explain every metric here and you can see once you click on it you have a basic um, description of what this means. And the power of the trade analytics really comes in once we start using the ordering criteria. Not all ordering criteria are available in the free version and all ordering criteria are present in the full version. So let's first go and select the ordering outcome and then we can break down our trading performance by winning and losing trades and then we can already get uh, new insights into our performance. So we have 31 losing trades, 72 winning trades, the average quantity. What is really interesting here is the expectancy per trade. So we can see our losing trades are on average bigger than our winning trades, which is not always a good sign. We have the sum of the gains or the losses in that case for the losing trades. We have the R average R multiple. We have our sum of the R multiples, the average reward to risk ratio, obviously. And then here, this is where things get interesting. The average drawdown and the average updraw show you how close did the price come towards your target this would be the average updraw and the drawdown measures how close came the price towards your stop loss and here we can see the average drawdown is 130 percent which means that for the losing trades the price actually did overshoot the stop loss and the trader didn't execute the loss at the stop loss but the trader let the price run beyond the stop loss this is also the reason why the expectancy per trade is here probably larger for the losses than for the wins because he let his losses run beyond his stop loss. So this is already a very important insight. We could drill deeper into this in our trade management graph, something that we will address in later videos. Now let's assume we want to take a look at our weekdays and find out what do the different weekdays do in performance terms. So now you can see we have a breakdown and you can see the different how many trades we have taken per trade, the win rate per day and you can see the expectancies. And one of the best ways to use the trade analytics and performance analysis in general is always to try to look for outliers be it to the upside or to the downside because outliers usually tell us quite a bit about our trading and they often show us performance leaks or things that are going exceptionally well. So here the trades on taken on Monday you can see we have 16 trades but the expectancy is 2.81 per trade so basically um, those trades taken on Monday they have a very low expectancy which means that we are almost not making any money so totally you can see we made 45 US dollar on all the trades closed on on Monday and in comparison to the other days this is very small. So the trader could for example take Mondays off and enjoy a long weekend if this is what he's after or look into the trades taken on Monday and then find out how to improve his uh, winners or uh, manage his losses in a better way. You can see the profit factor is also very very low something to really address and then we could drill down further and you can see in this journal we have a lot of custom statistics so he is tracking for example the higher time frame or the execution time frame we have trade setup so let's take a look at the higher time frame and see can we find something here and you can see the higher time frames we have a four hour and a daily higher time frame the expectancy there's not a huge difference but it seems like the daily higher time frame is not performing as well um, in terms of expectancy per trade you know, the win rate is almost the same, not a very huge difference. We have the average um, R multiple, not a big difference either. And then you can see we have the average drawdown and the updraw. So the trade analytics are a great way to really dig deep into your trading performance. You could also add other filters and the filters are applicable here. So if you've used the specific ordering criteria and then you want to drill down maybe only to look at the trades that you've taken in January or maybe only uh, the trades in a specific date range or maybe only the last 50 trades you can do that as well and so drill down into very specific segments 
of your trading performance here with the filters. And that's it. That's an overview of the trade analytics, how to use it and how to use it to look deeply into your trading performance to get new insights, find areas to work on and so understand your trading performance on a much, much deeper level. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to be notified about new videos about Edgewonk and how to improve your trading with a powerful trading journal.